guys, it's May May, and check out the North Pole shipping label stamp set. I'm in love with it, and I wanna show you how to cut your paper to get the most of this stamp set. So check this out. What you'll do is you'll take an eight and a half by 11 piece of cardstock. This is actually some Brutus Monroe, um, not your mama's cardstock. I like the thicker one for my tags. And all you have to do to start with is you wanna cut your cardstock down the long middle at four and one quarter. So I'm gonna open my little arm out here. I'm gonna lay my cardstock in at four and a quarter. And then I like to push from the bottom up and that's your first cut. So that gets you the height you need for your tags, all right? You can get eight tags from one sheet of cardstock. So here's how this works. Go to two and three quarters on your trimmer and cut each one of these pieces two and three fourths, just like this. It's so easy, it's so fast to get eight tags, and then the best part is you make your tag portion first and you go back and decorate them with your um, stamps afterwards. So there's your first four, and we can get four more out of this one as well. So what you end up with is eight pieces that are two and three quarters by four and one quarter. So I wanna tell you that dimension because if you're using your scraps, you just need a piece that's two and three quarters by four, uh, four and a quarter, because it's also great for scraps. Now let me show you how to stamp it. So to stamp it, now I've loaded mine into my MISTI. You don't have to, but I like to stamp multiples in a MISTI or in a stamp positioner of some sort because it makes it quicker. So taking those pieces we just cut, tall side into the corner of my MISTI. I don't even need a magnet because I've already got this laid out. I do need to tell you how I laid it out. Let me show you, that would help, wouldn't it? Okay, I'm gonna take my little stamp off. Here's what you do. Put your piece in that you're gonna be stamping and you wanna go ahead and place it on that particular that particular piece of um, cardstock. You will have a 1 8 inch border all the way around and that's what you want. So you just kinda of center this guy onto your um, tag piece and you're gonna pick it up with your misty door. Now more than likely my cardstock will stick, that's fine, we're not worried about that right now. But here is a very important tip, okay? You must press this middle down. If you don't, all of that's gonna pick up ink because even though you think it got picked up, it didn't, because when you press it, that centerpiece doesn't get pressed. So press that middle down, and then make sure you don't ink it, and that's a way to do that. Ask me how I learned that. <laughs> I have an audience today, by the way. Brenda and Shannon are watching today. Hey, guys. Hi. So, <laughs> the little Shannon. Hi. <laughs> so now all you have to do, the other thing I love, your ink pad is wide enough for you to start at the bottom and just Kiss the stamp with the ink pad. Don't press, squish, twist, none of that. Just kiss the ink pad just like so, okay? And then bring this over to your um, cardstock. Now here's what I do. I take my thumb and I run it this way and all the way around so I know I get pressure all the way around. And don't worry about the middle. There's nothing there we need to press. Don't need to worry about it. I do wanna put my thumb right on that little tag hole at the top. And you do this the same with this shape and this shape, it's the same. You pick your stamp and it works, okay? So um, I like to let that kind of drop down here so I don't take a chance of smearing it. There we go, look at that. Now, that is the first part. Now there's one other step I want you to do. And you don't have to do this, this is what I like to do. Um, scissors, here they are. Okay, I'm gonna take my long scissors on, perfect, on purpose because I wanna make a long cut, okay? And I'm gonna come right out an eighth of an inch past that little corner um, piece and do that. This is how I do this so we don't have to have a die, but it looks like we do. You see, no dies needed, eight from one sheet. Um, you can get it like this or, I've already done a bunch, here. You can also get the rounded one. And on the rounded one, I just cut around it. And I want to tell you this, we actually made this curve very slight on purpose so that when you're taking your scissors around it, it's so slight, it's easy to do. I didn't want to give you like a crazy curve or anything like that. I wanted to make it super easy. And now you can just play around and mix your stamps any way you want to get some of the cutest designs. Now for speed today, I wanted to get this guy, this video out for you guys to see. I had our graphic designer do some samples just in a picture form like this, okay? So this is an idea of how to use the stamp set with all the different pieces. And this photo is in our product, um, in the product description on the website. So if you want to use this as a reference, so like if you did it on craft colored cardstock, this is what you could get. If you did it on white and you mix the colors up, isn't it cute? 
I love that on the craft because I, I, I wrap a lot in the brown paper and would that not be the cutest? And embossing, yes. like oh. light embossing. Oh, wow. Too cute. Yes. Cool. So there awesome. you go, guys. That is the North Pole shipping label. You'll see me using it all throughout the year, but I wanted to get a quick video out so you can see how it works and how to get the most of your stamps. Thanks so much for watching today. And remember, if you get the stamp set and you use it, I want to see it. So head to our website, maymaymadeit.com, and on our customer gallery, upload photos of what you're doing. I am so excited to see your Christmas projects this year. By the way, we're like four months till Christmas, like literally. Literally. Woo! I've already bought two gifts. Woo! Is it too soon to say Merry Christmas? Merry no. Christmas. Merry Christmas, guys. Merry Christmas. Bye-bye. <laughs>